bombshell, the real women involved behind the movie. A sexual harassment scandal that rocked American TV history is now a movie and will explode like a bomb on December 20th, 2019. The film Bombshell offers a revealing look inside Fox News and the explosive story of the women who brought down its creator, Roger Ailes. Meet the real women who either had his back or kicked his butt. Number 5. Elizabeth Ailes on Valentine's Day, 1998, Elizabeth Tilson became the third Mrs. Roger Ailes, the late chairman and CEO of Fox News. After working together at CNBC, Roger set up Fox News in 1996 while he made Elizabeth the owner and publisher of local New York State newspapers, the Putnam County News and Recorder, and the Putnam County Courier. Everything was okay with the couple and their son Zachary, but not until Roger was accused in 2016 of sexual harassment and misconduct by a slew of women headed by TV commentator Gretchen Carlson, which forced Roger to resign under the pressure. Roger Ailes, the man who built Fox News from the ground up, is out as top boss. Where was Elizabeth in the midst of this controversial storm? She remained steadfast in supporting her husband. Elizabeth has avoided the spotlight, issuing statements to the press, but never sitting for an interview. Family sources, however, revealed that Mrs. Ailes took all of the revelations about her husband's predatory acts especially hard and contemplated a divorce. But as a loyal wife, Elizabeth stood by him until his death in 2017. In Bombshell, audiences will see actress-singer Connie Britton portray Elizabeth as a woman of strength. Number 4. Susan Estrich Roger Ailes was lucky to have trailblazing lawyer Susan Estrich as his chief defense attorney at the height of his sexual harassment case against a multitude of women. Consider these. Estrich was the first female president of the Harvard Law Review and the first woman to manage a presidential campaign in 1988 for Michael Dukakis. Estrich's strong voice vigorously insisted that Ailes did nothing wrong, but it was met with shock and disgust as she's a celebrated feminist scholar known for her feminist philosophies. But for those who know Estrich well, defending Ailes wasn't totally surprising. She met Ailes as George W. Bush's advisor during the 1988 campaign trail, and they've become close friends since then. Her ties with Ailes paved the way for Estrich's stint as a liberal commentator on Fox News. The woman lawyer, who will be portrayed by Oscar winner Allison Janney in Bombshell, had likewise defended former California governor and actor Arnold Schwarzenegger against sexual misconduct charges, so taking Ailes' case was expected. Roger needs someone to help him through this extremely difficult process, Estridge reasoned out. Number 3. Ainsley Earhart the film Bombshell wants a fair and balanced depiction of the Roger Ailes sexual harassment case at the Fox News studio. So included in the movie aren't only his accusers, but also his defenders. We need everyone on Team Roger. Get it on. Put it on. One of them is Ainsley Earhart, portrayed by British actress Alice Eve. In 2007, Earhart further pursued her broadcasting career in New York where she found herself in a room with Ailes, who saw something special in the South Carolina native and offered her a job. Today, Earhart is the female co-host of Fox & Friends, interviewing America's president and vice president. And for making her ultimate dream happen, Earhart is very thankful and expectedly defended and praised him to high heavens while he battled the sexual harassment charges. I want the public to know that this is a man with a really good heart. He is a family man, and he is a father figure, and I will always be grateful to him for giving me a promotion when a lot of people wouldn't have. Clearly for Earhart, gratitude is everything. Number 2. Megyn Kelly In her 13 years as news anchor and host at Fox News, Megyn Kelly had her own share of interview boo-boos and on-camera gaffes. Kelly became the central figure in the 2016 presidential campaign with her tough questions to President Donald Trump. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. And his, at times, vulgar responses, which prompted Kelly to call him Voldemort. But Kelly had a more explosive bomb to detonate. At the wake of longtime Fox News chairman Roger Ailes' sexual harassment case, Kelly came forward with her own harrowing stories in the hands of Ailes. It started in her second year as reporter at Fox when Ailes started making remarks with heavy sexual connotation directed at her, but Kelly didn't recognize them as harassment then since Ailes was always bawdy and had an inappropriate sense of humor. But his advances got worse that she couldn't deny it anymore. 
It culminated when Ailes summoned Kelly to his office, shut and locked the door, tried to get physical and grabbed her every time she tried to escape. Find out more about Kelly's ordeal in Bombshell, where Oscar winner Charlize Theron stunningly transforms into Kelly. Wait, am I going to be the story? No. No. I'm going to be the story. No. no. Number 1. Gretchen Carlson It took one ballsy woman like Gretchen Carlson to take down one of the most powerful figures in America's TV industry, Fox News CEO and Chairman Roger Ailes, leading to his resignation on July 21, 2016. It happened all because of Carlson revealed Ailes also sexually preyed on her while working at Fox News since 2005. Carlson claimed Ailes sexually harassed her and ultimately terminated her contract because she denied his advances. Her lawsuit alleged that she put up with years of abuse and harassment, including Ailes suggesting that they have a sexual relationship, commenting on her body, and insisting she learn to get along with the boys when she complained about the network's sexist culture. Why did Carlson, whom Oscar awardee Nicole Kidman will give life to in Bombshell, file the case? Learn to get along with the boys. You're sexy, but you're too much work. I have a whole list. I had to stand up for myself and speak out for all women and the next generation of women in the workplace, Carlson said. Someone has to speak up. Someone has to get mad. It was a triumph not only for Carlson, but also for dozens of Ailes' victims who finally found the courage to follow Carlson's lead. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to our channel for your daily fix of awesome infotainment.